Well, everything seems to be going good for Kit and his crew so far. Everybody's getting some rest. They got new colonists and it's growing and everything seems to be doing pretty good. They got muffalos and yaks. Kit wakes up in the morning, has some breakfast, and gets started with his day. He got them to start building a sandstone chess table for a little bit of recreation and fun times. And in the meantime, everybody else was busy working on building bedrooms and storage rooms. So the colony is growing, the base is growing, and getting bigger. Kit has a talk with Sassy, but she's not happy. She doesn't like him. Her and Kit does not get along, and they have had fist fight. So there you go. Right now, the colonists are working on getting their gardens and all that stuff brought in and harvested because there's only a certain amount of time that they can grow it. They do have some buffaloes in the pen and taken care of for the time being. So it's a great day here at the colony. Everything seems to be coming together when suddenly a large mad boomalope appears and the gang has to take it down. A good thing it was raining that night, so the fires shouldn't be too much of a problem, but they do have to distinguish the fires, or extinguish the fires, because it is right next to the crops, and we don't want to lose our crop. So immediately they take care of that, and back to business. The next day, they're busy moving all of their supplies over to the new storage place so they're very happy to get all this stuff up out of the floor and moved into a different place so they don't have to look at it all the time when suddenly we get another raid coming down to try to take us out once again well, they're gonna stop and think about it, but Kit knows they're coming, so the gang will be ready to go. So while they were preparing, the crew keeps working and doesn't really think much about it because they know it's gonna be a while before they raid. So they continue working when suddenly an exotic goods trader happens to appear right about the same place where the raiders are. So you can just imagine what happens after that. The exotic traders take out the raiders very quickly and move on about their business. After the exotic trader takes out the raiders, Kit has a discussion with Raphael. Raphael wants to be the leader of the gang, but Kit is pondering whether that's a good idea or not. The rain keeps coming down day after day. They keep working. They have to pile up all the raiders, and then they have another trader come in. So they go out and Kit does a little bit of business with them getting a few things that they needed like heel root. After that, another peaceful night listening to the rain. The next day, the rain is still coming down. The exotic traders are getting ready to make their departure. In the meantime, the gang enjoys another rainy night of peaceful sleep. The next morning, the rain had passed and the gang started working once again. They have their dining room complete. Raphael has a little bit of thought before he starts his day. 
and Kit gets Kit's breakfast and the gang has another peaceful day. And once again, they get a good night's rest to the sound of pouring rain. The next day, while it's still pouring the rain, they finish out the first bedroom, which will be Kit's bedroom, of course. So the first bedroom gets completed, and the next day, the rain was gone. Everyone was happy they could get back outside and do some things. When suddenly, there's a raid, and they're coming up the river right behind us. So the gang will get prepared for that, of course. The raiders start making their way up. Kit and the crew is on the other side of the river waiting for them. They start firing. They keep coming. These guys are tough. The gang pulls back and keeps firing. Finally, the raiders fall. But there's another one on the way down. Coming around the cliff. So the gang ambushes him when he comes around. And to the surprise of Kit, there's two of them. After shooting one, the other retreats. The gang starts to follow, but decides he's not worth it. They take two more prisoners in. These guys are tough and they're gonna have to heal them. So it's gonna take some medicine and some doctors. So they assemble a crew to take care of the wounded. These guys are pretty tough so Kit decides to take them into custody and maybe convert them over to the colony but they will be hard to convert as this tribe is different. With seven colonists already, it's going to take a lot of food to keep these guys fed. And if they take on two more, that's going to be more food. So Kit's going to have to make preparations to feed this colony if he's going to grow it seven colonists already with two in custody. Kit takes his first night in his new bedroom. The others are on the way. But there is some constructing still left to do for that. The next day Kit comes in to talk to the prisoners and see just if he really wants to take them in or not. So he comes in and feeds them and takes care of them. Raphael comes in behind him to feed the other prisoner and the day continues for the colony. A gang of bandits are outside the base and they're demanding for us to pay for safety and Kit refuses and he said they seemed happy about it. Well, they better be happy about it because this colony is ready for just about anything when suddenly they get another raid and guess who it is the same group that just made the threat the cancer group so they're going to attack immediately and we have to get prepared so while they're coming down the hill the crew gets ready and assembles out in front like always ready to ambush when they come down the hill and as soon as they get in range the gang starts firing they give them everything they have this little guy gets in on us and gets in some some damage and suddenly the rest pull back and keep firing. The other one comes at the crew. They decide to move again and keep firing. He goes down. There's two more. One's got a gun up there that's getting some licks in on us. 
this one finally falls they go up for the last one hard to take down hidden behind some trees the crew moves up to get a little closer and he goes down finally they are secure once again on the colony base after that the carnage was horrible Kit knew that he needed to clean this up because it would affect the rest of the crew if they seen all the carnage. So he gets started working on getting all this cleaned up, trying to protect his colony as always. But this was a good battle and some of the crew members did get injured. Dusty is down and needs rescued, so we're going to get him in and take care of it. Now Dusty and Raphael, Raphael and Kit was injured in the last two raids. So the crew is working to take care of these guys. Hopefully they'll be back up and ready to go soon. We also have two prisoners to worry about. And after that, well after that we had a heat wave. And we was not prepared for it. So they started working by turning up the air conditioners we had wide open. And then they started taking out the doors to circulate the air. And trying to install one more air conditioner up here in the kitchen area. To make sure that we keep our temperature right. If not they will have a heat stroke. After the heat wave, after the heat wave we suddenly had a raid coming in fast and furious around the cliff. The gang was ready, of course, assembled out front ready for battle. As they come in they took aim at the first one coming down the hill. He got behind some trees and made it hard for us to hit him, so we started taking bullets. Once again, we were taking damage. The crew moves up to get a closer shot. Finally, they start to retreat, but not until after they made, did their damage. The crew starts administering medical treatment to the colonists. There's like four or five injured. One is down. Orlean is down and can't get up. Making it very hard on the colony right now. Kit has recovered and started back to work. He decides to release both prisoners and set them free because he's not able to take care of them at this time so they make their way out and as they are recuperating and getting better the base just keeps growing little by little they complete tasks and get it done like clearing out this room here they've moved a lot of rocks the buffaloes and the yaks are producing and having babies and that makes the colony more valuable. So the raids will get more intense. And the more value you have the... Well, speaking of raids, the gang has another raid. A group of imps from Haziz Claude faction is coming in for a raid they don't look heavily armed but they do have bows and hatchets so the gang assembles of course just like always out front and a little bit late getting out but they do start firing and taking down the enemy but they are receiving a few shots from the bow 
Finally, they take him out, and the last one retreats. 